Okay, hi there guys, welcome to the second C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial we are gonna look how uh, look at how to define string variables. Unlike BB, uh, you define variable by first mentioning the data type, for example string, followed by the variable uh, the variable name, for example X, okay, and you put a semicolon as we mentioned earlier. The previous tutorial, you end every statement with semicolon. Uh, if you want to fill a variable, you just say x equals double quotation, and you write whatever string you want to store into that. For example, hello. Okay, and you end this with semicolon. And if you want to display the result, you just say system console dot write line. For example. Okay, and this is x semicolon, and uh, we will also write system console read line because we want to display it stay there. And uh, I'm gonna run this, and you can see. Uh, okay, wonderful. Uh, so now we just uh, defined a variable, uh, fold that, and displayed it. Now. This is one way to define a variable. Another way is to perform assignment at the same time. So, for example, this is string x. You could right away write equals hello. Okay. So now this is a definition and assignment at the same time. And uh, we now run, and you get a similar result. Wonderful. Now, what about uh, when you have multiple variables, you could write, for example, string x, y, z, semicolon, and then x equals hi, into i, there, semicolon, and z equal boo, whatever. Okay? So here we are going to display the x. And the Y and the Z. Okay, right now we're just experimenting. So here we define the three variables right away. Uh, we are following X, Y, Z independently and displaying them one after the other. So let's run this. Hi there and boo. Nice. So far so good. Now uh, let's get to a little bit better example. Now. We defined a variable, right? We defined variable uh, x. Uh, we are going to change this. Let's say we want to write a program that will ask you for your name and this, uh, say hi to you. So basically, you could say string name, okay? And then you would say name equal. Now, how do you get the value from screen? You would use system console read line, and this is basically uh, uh, this basically gets you a string. You can see uh, here from the uh, help, the quick help uh, that you can see here, it returns a string. So, uh, yeah, we are going to store the result of this command in, in the variable's name. And then we would say hello. So, we are going to say system console write line hello. Uh, so this is basically a string and now we will combine it with our value. So you add a plus sign for my name. Okay, so this is very easy and straightforward. And uh, we're gonna run this and we get a cursor and we're gonna say here Todd and hit enter. Uh, hello Todd. Now one of the problem is uh, if anyone sees your program, they won't understand what they are supposed to do. They, all they can see is a blinking cursor. So uh, you might want to uh, display a friendly message. For example, system console write enter your name. Okay, and you put a colon here. Uh, very simple. And we are going to run this. Um, so this is a little bit more meaningful, so you know uh, what you're supposed to do. So Todd, and this uh, program would say hello Todd. Very nice. Okay, 
So now we have seen how we can define a variable, how we can read values from the screen, put that into the variable, and how we can display the result. Now, uh, this is not all the things that you could do with strings, there are many other things, but for now we're going to concern ourselves with simple things. Um, what if you want to convert the string to all capital or small? Well, you could do the following. Uh, well, uh, in C-sharp, each variable is usually an object. So here a string, uh, or this name, is an object. What that means, what you need to understand, since this is an object, you can perform some kind of operations on it. So you could just put a dot, and you will get a number of methods. For example, you could say uh, to upper. Okay, and to upper would convert all the uh, letters to capital. So I'm going to say here caps. Okay. Uh, there is another one uh, which we could use small um, to lower. Okay, as you can see, so there is to upper part to lower. Uh, that's very straightforward. So we're gonna try this out and see how they work. So um, we're gonna say Todd. So you can see the caps ones they converting every character to to capital and small will convert each letter into a small letter so uh, very easy very straightforward it's not uh, much but uh, uh, it's not a big deal yeah okay um, well so far we just experienced with uh, doing very simple thing which is reading uh, value from a very uh, from the screen and putting uh, the value into the variable or following the variable right away. In this case, we're gonna modify this program a little bit. Instead of displaying the result, we're gonna store the result into another variable. So we're gonna say string cps of c equals okay string as equals Okay, so what's going on here? What's going here is uh, we're getting the name, we're converting it into uppercase letters and putting the result into a new string variable called C. And the next one, we're getting the name, converting all the letters into small case and putting the result into string S. Okay, and, and next we can just say system console write line. Uh, C S okay, and uh, we can now run the program. We say Todd. Oh, sorry, Todd. Okay, you can see the result. Um, the uh, the difference uh, here is that we didn't use the method uh, name dot to upper or to lower inside the system console right line we put the result into variable and then display that variable so it's uh, very straightforward uh, yeah okay so I think that's that will be all for our tutorial today tomorrow we will we'll be looking a little bit more into integers and start working on a more exciting stuff um, okay, so thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.